Hey there folks, Kenneth McNulty here. Today we're going to a place where sound can scarcely escape, the anechoic chamber. It's located at the Air Force Research Laboratory on Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. And this is AFRL Tech. An anechoic chamber is essentially a room that you can do testing for radio frequencies that is fully isolated from the outside world. It's an 88 by 77 foot chamber and it's 56 feet tall. So this is not optimized for sound wave frequencies, but the same general properties still apply. So we can still see some of the same effects that you would see in radio waves as what we were able to observe with the sound waves. They are made of carbon loaded foam. As it travels further and further into the cone, it dampens it. It gets very quiet. If you stand in here with the door shut for too long, it can almost make you dizzy. We test anything from very basic bench level all the way up to, we've had full drone systems mounted in here measuring the effects of how the sensors are performing on the actual platform. The majority of our tests take place up here. This is centered at what's known as the quiet zone. We have a 12 foot cylindrical quiet zone in here. So it's the purest, cleanest part of the RF in the room. This is the best spot for singing in this place. The back corner was horrible. I was sliding all over the place in pitch because I could hear, there was no feedback. That was better. This is awesome. Wow, that was a lot to take in. We learned a lot about volume, sound, and how it works in an anechoic chamber. If you ask me, it's music to my ears. Make sure to stay tuned for our next video. And this is AFRL Tech.